ticket to su success in our futures is being greatly affected by this every year. You know, everyone here has had the dream or has the dream to be successful, to go to college, move out of your house, make your own living. Once we're out of high school, that's what we want to do. Because high school was kind of just a test for us, to see if we're ready, to move on, to go to college and start being independent. My parents' dream for me was to send me off to college and watch me succeed. My mom didn't have the opportunity to go to college because her family didn't have the money. So her dreams for me was to give me the opportunities that she didn't have. My parents were, let me, were ready to let me go into the real world, to watch me succeed, because They've seen how, far, how well I've done this far, how hard I've worked to succeed and earn my own successes that they knew how, how successful I could be. And that's all I wanted. All I wanted was to go out, make my own life, and mold my own future. <coughs> After spending weeks applying to really good schools, having interviews, and trying to find scholarships that I could apply for, it all seemed worth it and that it would work out in the end. You know, I worked too hard in high school to ACSATs the ACTs, uh, the AP tests, and all my courses. And I think throughout all that studying and all the time I spent, I think I'd, I deserve to have something better than an under, underemployed job like all my other friends who didn't care like I did. Who didn't push themselves to the max to see what they're capable of doing, to see what they could achieve from how hard they worked. But that's what I did. Because my whole life, I wanted to have the chance to go to college, to go to school, make my future, and make my own successes. I worked too hard. So who here likes to pay $20,545 a year for school? <laughs> yeah, and that's just in state. What about out of state? $32,442. Who likes that? <laughs> Yikes. So when was it true that if you dedicated yourself, you could accomplish anything? When was that true? When did that happen? Tell me if it sounds right to you that an executive board member, secretary of the National Honor Society, uh, uh, captain of the varsity swim team, manager of the lacrosse team, representative of the student council, and member of the key club and adding club, and intern for student activities with 4.0 GPA, can't go to the school of their dreams <coughs> because of tuition. Because my family couldn't pay for $32,442, well, $42, to go to the school of my dreams that I worked my entire life working for. Because my parents couldn't pay for my tuition. They couldn't come near to paying for my tuition. Tell me when you accomplish everything that you set your mind to. Or if something gets into the way of that. What would you do if something came in the way of you accomplishing your dreams? know, everything that you'd hope for for your life. Tell me when you see the truth in that, when you accomplish everything you set your mind to. When a student born into the wealth breezes their way through high school, gets into the school of their choice, there's no question whether or not they're going to go there, because their parents will take care of, work, care of it. Their dad can whip out their checkbook, scribble down his name, and send it off. Everything works out. But for me, it's not like that. I have to settle. So until I can pay for the acceptance letter that I earned, and I had to deny because I couldn't pay for it. Could not come close to paying for it. Well, I know you're probably asking yourself, well, what about scholarships? Do you know how hard it is for someone like me to get a scholarship? I don't have minority roots, and I'm not an athlete. The likelihood of me finding enough scholarships to pay for school are slim to none. Scholarships are being aimed towards diversity. And if I'm not included in that diverse category, I'm not going to receive one. Also, have you ever seen a scholarship that says $60,000 for 100,000 students? No. You see $1,000 or $2,000 for three students. Or what about loans? Right when you get out of college, you're going to have to owe that loan back. With the job market, no one's going to be able to pay that back. Imagine getting out of school and owing $120,000 to your school. Does it sound right to you that an unemployed 23-year-old would owe that money the year they get out of college? Then there's also financial aid. Does everyone receive financial aid? No, not even here at UMass. From the freshman class of about 4,100 students, 3,700 applied for need-based aid, need. 1,394 of those didn't receive the need-based aid. And out of the students that did receive that, 
about half of them didn't even receive the amount that they needed. So do you think there are better ways for the schools to handle tuition? Because I do. There are other options. But why? Equal opportunity. Some people aren't given the option to go to school because finances will never work. Does that make sense to you? A smart, hardworking, dedicated student cut off from education, from pursuing their dreams, everything they'd hoped for their life, because tuition rises annually. No, there are other ways. America has the most expensive college education in the world. Tuition is incre increasing faster than the economy as a whole, and has been since before the recession. So, there are other, other countries have different ways of paying uh, for tuition or paying for school. Like in France, you'll find over 82 universities and over 1 million post-secondary students across the country. All colleges in France are publicly funded, and none charge significant amounts of yearly tuition compared with American universities. College do char colleges in France do charge a yearly enrollment fee of about 165 to 700 euros, depending on the school. But that's nowhere near compared to how America is. Then there's also German colleges, who charge fees that are set on a state-by-state -state basis, and the national government has very little control over how much colleges charge. Depending on the state where your school is, your school is located, it's as little as 30 euros or as much as 600 in tuition. That's nowhere near how America is. And in Sweden, college is free. Every student is entitled to access 12 semesters worth of tuition money from the Swedish National Board of Student Aid. So as you can see, there are definitely other ways for America to handle tuition. I would like to thank Julie and the students of the audience <coughs> being here today for joining together to talk about the reality of life and the expenses needed to succeed in it. As Americans, we pride ourselves in the educational opportunities that this country provides for us. In the academic world rank ranking of world universities, as of 2010, out of the entire world, the United States holds the top 15 positions in the field of engineering, technology, and computers. We also claim 11 of the top 15 positions in the field of natural sciences and mathematics. And we hold equal prestige in medicine, social sciences, and life and agricultural sciences. We hold the number one slot in all of these fields. In short, America <coughs> is the best when it comes to academics. Being a part of the administrative staff at the University of Massachusetts, I pride myself in knowing I work from one of the world's greatest monopolies. That's education. Now the thought of free education sounds like a wonderful idea. However, this is only a concept that can be implemented in a utopian society where it never rains and it's always 75 degrees every day. <laughs> Yet, we all know that if we take away the rain from our environment, nothing will grow and nothing will flourish. Without some sort of payment to our nation's universities, how would we be, we be able to maintain our greatness and our success in this world? Many argue, but this society does exist. It's true that in Europe, the majority of the countries offer free public education. Any and all of their students of their universities don't have to pay a cent towards their academics. So, who does? Their education is not free. The word free is an illusion in their society when it comes to education. The truth is, the government pays for these students by using money they get through taxes from their citizens. In Sweden, where they implement this free education, their citizens have to pay 60% of their income to federal taxes. So, merely, these students are just accepting a given loan from the government that they themselves will be paying back once they start paying taxes. And this is only to allow the next generation of children the opportunity to go to school. So, although this system works, you cannot in any way call it free. And I guarantee you, the majority of the United States population would never agree to doubling their federal income taxes to the benefit of our educational system. Why should they? We're already number one. The money that students pay to come to this university 
is used to benefit its students and give them optimal opportunity to succeed in this world. They are given a place to live, they are given food to eat, and knowledge to fulfill their intellectual appetites. If these accommodations are not reason enough for you to be paying these tuitions, there are more. Then, these other benefits that these schools provide are due to your contributions through tuition costs. Looking at our own school, the University of Massachusetts is one of the leading universities in scientific <coughs> research. The capabilities of our nation's schools to obtain these accomplishments through research is greater than most countries due to the facilities we provide. For example, the buildings like the Integrated Science Building, the new Skinner Hall, the Studio Arts Building, allow us to stay competitive within our own country and to keep ourselves above the rest of the academics worldwide. To name one of our greatest research opportunities that happened here at this school was that our own physics department was helped build one of the world's most powerful accelerators, particle accelerators, which is located in Switzerland. Other departments, such as chemistry and psychology departments, are making medical advances and discoveries yearly. Our campus is constantly growing and expanding to provide an environment that allows you to reach your intellectual potential and highlight your strengths and accomplishments as students. The fear of most high school students is not being able to afford such prestigious academic opportunities. The money to them is a deterrent. The main issue that high school <coughs> students should be worrying about is good grades and hard work ethic. Strong academic backgrounds, talent, diversity in their lifestyle, and hard work ethic are accepted to schools no matter what their financial status. Once accepted, the ability to tame, obtain money to afford schools are endless. <clears throat> Anyone with a financial strain can obtain grants, scholarships, and loans if their work ethic is strong, if they are driven enough to attend a university no matter which one it is throughout this whole entire country, they can find money. There are endless possibilities. Nothing can prevent them from obtaining help and services to provide them the means to attend the college of their choice. Look at Harvard and Yale, for example. UMass might not be the leading one in offering grants, but if you make it into Harvard and you make it into Yale, they have a 100% rate of accepting students for their financial aid. Obtaining grades can get grants from, so obtaining good grades can get grants from these schools. Being involved in your community can get a scholarship for pretty much anybody in any circumstance. Having to pay for your education does not and will not limit your opportunities. So I want to leave you with this. <coughs> someone in your family was sick, had headaches all the time, seizures, loss of memory, problems with speech, all the symptoms of a brain tumor, how would you want them treated? By the richest medical graduate student or the one who is willing to dedicate every moment of their life striving <coughs> to become the best surgeon that they could be? Tell me what you would want. To conclude this argument, I restate the point that nowhere in the world is education free. The expenses needed to maintain our nation's ability to thrive above all others opens opportunities for all students. And no matter what, the money obtained to, you, to obtain your dream is attainable through numerous possibilities that anyone can receive. Just remember, the United States is considered the best in academics, and we all know that the best things in life do not come free.